No. The whole place reeks of blood and betrayal. I know this it will. I'll walk with my hunger if I must. Get out of here. Oh my god, look at them all. Uh, that doesn't look safe. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go after the hunter's spindle so that we can start making linen because we need it for several things, um, including armor sets and a new potential uh, weapon from the blacksmith and one or two other things, I think. There, there's like a bunch of things we need linen for. So um, I was going to tell you, oh, uh, I made the copper... Uh, pick and copper axe. Uh, so we got those, and uh, the copper pick is is quite a bit better than the scrappy pick. So I went back to that mine and mined up a whole bunch of uh, copper. So we got that stuff cooking up in here to make us some more bars. And I think that's pretty... Oh, and I made uh, one medium chest so far, uh, and it does have one additional row but it's the same footprint as the as the small chest it's just has a little bit different look to it on the outside and one more row so um, off camera I will eventually get all these replaced with the with the uh, the medium chest uh, but of course I, I'm not gonna do that right now um, also I'm I'm motivated to work on the hunter stuff too because um, she can make us some uh, pretty nice food. So we got this vegetable puree and this chamomile tea, uh, which are just going to be, you know, the next step up from the food that we've been using. But they all need the fireplace. Um, and not the fireplace that I can make, but the one that, you know, she, she'll she need. Uh, so we need to also get going on her, uh, her quests as well. Okay, so if we look at the blacksmith for a second, there was something... I think it was, yeah, uh, I, I want to get this Valiant Shield, and it requires linen as well. And then I think that was that was probably all we need from him. We can make these two things now. I think um, these little exclamation thingies to the left means that when you make this, then it opens up an, something else. Um, so it's like a prerequisite. And yeah, I, I'm going to hold off on that right at the right moment, though. So our focus right now is going to be the hunter and the linen uh, stuff. So uh, with that being said, I got a bunch of um, planks being made up in here and I have more. Uh, we still have some metal plates cooking in there. I, I'm starting to make some more bricks because we're going to have another building episode here fairly soon. Um, and <clears throat> my plan for that, <coughs> excuse me, is to upgrade the material of our house to something nicer um you know from this from this original wood texture and build a, a tower on the back end like we like we talked about in that last building episode that we did uh, so that's coming up pretty soon and uh so i think that gets caught up you know with with everything that we're doing here we're all repaired we're all fully rested here uh, so let's go ahead and take off we're going to we want to do the hunter's hand spindle, and while we're at it, see where is that at? <clears throat> That's right near Westcott. Um, we also need to do. Oh, that's way over here. Okay. Uh, I'd like we I'd like to do the test of skill too, because that's also the hunter's quest. And then this is, um, I guess we don't know what that is yet. Okay, so um, this ancient spire. Oh, the other thing I want to do is I, I, I have not received a quest for this spire. So I'm just going to go do it. There's a bunch of other things around here too that we can do. But, but this just opens up a place because I'm currently maxed out on all my flame altars. This one I'm planning on keeping here permanently just because it's the farmland uh, and I go there all the time, you know, to plant crops. But we could get rid of this one once this is opened up and 
I don't think we really need this one here anymore either, except for that it would get us close to a test of skill. So we'll leave it there for the time being. And then this one's right next to that mine, but there's, you know, there's other copper mines around. There's one over here. There's one here. Actually, that's a salt mine. <laughs> that's a flint mine. So yeah, anyway, I'll figure all that out. The point being is that I want to open up, you know, this spire here so that at least gives us this flame altar back to do whatever we need to do. Oh, and this one I put, because this is as far north as I went, if you remember at the very end of the last episode, um, just to get us back up that direction when the time comes. Very good. So um, we're going here. So why don't we... Yeah, we could probably just go to this spire and then, and then fly there. Speaking of which, who makes the the better glider for us. Is it you? It is you. Yeah, see, we need linen for that, too. We need linen for all kinds of stuff. So, okay. Let's go in here. All right, let's go to our journal. And the Hunter's Hand Spindle is our active quest. So we just basically need to... Uh, where are we? Oh, we're right here. Okay, so we need to go this way and kind of this way. Let's food up. Oh, and also, let's take one of these. And we have... Can we refresh, uh, refresh, refresh this? Yes, we can. Okay, that gives us that 30% extra damage. And I don't think we need to take any of the rest of that stuff for now. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Uh, we, I don't know if we can make that or not. If we don't, I guess we fall into the shroud. All right, so we got that new skill where if we stay on the road, we, I guess, move faster and use less stamina. What is that, uh, what is that skill again? Sprinting on dirt roads is reduced from 90 to 80% stamina consumption. Sprinting on stone roads is reduced from 75 to 50. So it just doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, just doesn't use as much stamina as all. Okay. Let's go down this dirt road. I mean, it doesn't suck. Probably not the first thing I would have chosen primarily because I don't... I mean, I spend as much time running cross-country as I do on roads, if not more, so... Yeah. All right, we're going into a cave here. Looks like it's probably just a cave passage. With lots of bugs. And some more of the blue, glow, glowy glow stuff. Let's just see if there's anything over here. Oh, there's salt in here. Okay, that's good to know. I, so far, haven't needed any more salt since I, the very first time I collected a bunch of it. Probably doesn't, yeah, it probably doesn't indicate that there's salt in here on the map. What do we got going on here? Oh, it's a, a thingy. It's funny because there isn't even any shroud here anyway. This is like a, a big stone grinder thingy. Oh, more shroud down there. Let's just jump down here really quick and see if there's anything significant. There's salt. That's odd.
don't see anything. Why is this? Wait, what's that? Oh, just bones. Why is this here? I mean, is there supposed? There's supposed to be something here. I guess not. Okay, let's go. There's an elixir well. Have we done that elixir well? Yes, we have. Okay. I'm just going to pop that right now because I don't think we'll be in the shroud for too long, but I don't know that, so... think there's a whole lot of point in doing that again well I don't think we can do it again except for that whatever chest down there is probably repopped but no let's stay let's stay focused here too damn easy to get sidetracked in this game all right we gotta go that way Looks like we might be able to get out of the shroud and go in this direction. Alright, so we come to this little village here. Westcott. We've been here before. Oh, I did make um, 200 copper arrows too, but I'm uh, using up my scrap arrows first. There's some more scrap arrows. I might, I might make some poison arrows as well because I have quite a bit of the poison stacks for that. The location above. I thought. I thought we already went through this town once. I'm surprised I didn't find the spindle. Hmm. Oh, that's a break. Nice copper door. We can make those. Martha's Diary Entry 2. I awoke to the smell of blood, freshly flowing. I looked outside my window, where some predator had made a fresh kill of two fey deer. Effortless, maybe, but certainly not painless. At first I cried out in shock, but then the realization hit me. Two fey deer, eight rib portions, maybe ten... Hey, we've already read this. Twelve sausages, blood pudding. Alright, am I... Hold on a second. Do I have the right... Yeah. Okay. When it... When I came through here before, I wasn't specifically looking for the spindle, so I probably... Well, I mean, I obviously missed it. Let's go up here. Location reached, it says. Right here. Martha's Diary Entry 1. Still nothing to eat. Still nothing to serve. Bone scraps and watery soup. When will we meet our demise? A new traveler arrived hungry and tired. She wanted me to leave the bones in her stew. A quiet anger lingered in her eyes. Wild determination. Like a starving wolf. I offered her a room, but she declined with a grunt, marched into the woods up north to sleep on a cold, hard ground. A brute. She belongs in the wild anyhow. All right, so I guess that's a clue that we need to go north. Um, the hunter didn't stay at the inn in Westcott. She avoids human contact. Instead, she must have set up camp close by. Her hand spindle cannot be far. Okay, let's go north. Nice. 
nice. Four pieces of metal. We'll take it. More metal. And even more metal. Actually, it is getting late. Yeah, let's just keep moving here. Says we need to go this way. Location reached. Here. All right, come on, bees. Might as well grab this honey while we're at it. All right, is this it? No, that's just a hatchet. Um, twenty-three damage hatchet though. Still not as good as what we got, though. Here we go. Finally, fresh air. Not heavy with the scent of pollen or sweat. Sickening decay. My head spins. I haven't slept in days. Not since I left my spindle in the Revelwood atop that cliffside so far away. But I can't turn back. I had to flee. Something sinister is buried in that thicket. Spreads to the undergrowth like roots. It embraces and entangles and squeezes and suffocates, shimmering in the darkness between the branches under the skin. A silky web of two-clawed hunting spider. Nightmares like these are forged by man, I've learned. All right. Um, does she have a bed in here? Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, let's just sleep. Okay, it is manana, and we're ready to go here. On top of the cliff in the Revelwood. Hmm, which way do we go? Let's go this way, I guess. That is a Flintstone mine. I guess we'll take those for the moment. I think, isn't this where we rescued somebody? Maybe? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Withered Encampment. Have I been here before? Yeah, that's where we got the farmer. Uh, where are we going? Are we going that way? You know what? I, I think I am going the wrong direction. Let's go back this way. Here we go. We got a pathway here. we have here I saw another bad guy over this way and yeah, there he is we're at a cemetery Is this a mausoleum? Nice mana potion. Looks like that's all that's in here. What do we got in here? Spawn point. Nothing up above. Some explosive barrels. Necropolis. Hmm.
Guess I don't need to keep double shotting those guys. Alright, this place probably calls for one of these. Is this where I'm supposed to be, though? No. I don't think so. See, we're getting sidetracked again, damn it. Damn it, Jim. But since we're here, we might as well look around, right? Nothing over that way. Nothing that way. Alright, let's go in here. Maybe there's a, a passageway out of here. Uh, out the other side, like through the mountains, you know. Either go down or through that door. I hear zappity zaps. A button. That was for that door down there. Okay. Whoa! I didn't see him there. That scared me. Okay, this is where we would have come down from, right? Yeah, because we went into that room with the electrical thingies. <clears throat> Anything over here? Okay, let's go through here. Looks like this is the main loot room. Okay, cool. An apprentice one. That does 23 damage. Nope. Alright, well, we got some uh, uh, runes out of the deal. Let's keep moving. I'm not so sure we can get up there from here. We might have to do something a little different. Okay, uh, let's look at the map here. I think what we'll do is we'll go to here and then we'll see if we can work our way that way because we're not getting up this cliff unless we go all the way around, which I don't really want to do. Okay, let's go this way. here says the location is above I don't see a grappling hook thingy there but we'll just do that spiders Well, how appropriate for a loom to be located in a place with a bunch of silk. Oh, 
I'm not gonna link those guys. in here. Abandoned hunter camp. Alright, can we snipe anyone from here? This is quite the place. Alright, what's this have to say? A comforting heat emanates from the rocks, so I won't need a fire tonight. I hear them in the distance, searching, howling. It's the wind that carries their madness my way. A draft from the mines. What are they digging for? Their screams rip through the night and scare away all prey. I'm starving. Should I have stocked up on resources when I was near Glenwood's End? No. The whole place reeks of blood and betrayal. I know this it will. I'll walk with my hunger if I must. Get out of here. Oh my god, look at them all. Uh, that doesn't look safe. Uh, okay, so... Now what's the journal say? <laughs> the hunter traveled through the Revelwood to reach Westcott and her hands, but was left at a different camp. Now where the hell is it at? It's down by a cave entrance. Wait, isn't that the entrance to this cave? Hmm. Oh, there's the spindle right there. <laughs> I thought that was just a table with some stuff on top of it. Okay, nice. Um, well, we have accomplished that goal. I don't... I don't know if I want to go mess with all those spiders. That's a lot of spiders. Uh, let's go back to the map here. Um, I want to do this test of skill, so let's get that knocked out while we're out and about. Where are we at? Oh, here. Yeah, okay. This is that camp with the other Matron scavenger gorger thingy. Um... So let's set that as the waypoint and also set it as our main quest. And let's do it. Is that amber? No, it's clay. I have a feeling like we're supposed to be on top of that cliff there. Oh, here we go. Looks like there's a passage here. Oh, it's one of these runestone thingies. Ancient obelisk. Crude life blood is extracted, diluted, and alchemized. Transformed, transfigured. Molten and born anew. Hey, we got a level. Profound power, fueling the bodies of the youngest in Ambervale, rotting them. We've failed, blind by our stoicism. Let us point our gaze back towards the sky, for this hollowed core cannot be saved. That's it? Okay. Uh, well, um, um, open up some new markers for us. Crucial investigation. Okay, cool. Um, all right, I think we can head back. Let me look at my journal real quick. I know this is um, to the west. We just looked at that. Oh, that's another Matron head thingy. Look at that bow. You've found signs of Athlan's Cree's travels through the Re Revel, which you must have camped nearby. Explore the hunter cap and look around. We should do that because that bow might be really good. Uh, this is to the west as well. And then this might... Where is this at? Probably right there. 
Yeah, let's, um... Let's do this. It's to the north of where we currently are. Let's go to the spire and see if we can fly to it, or at least most of the way to it. Come on, man. I put my shield up. Oh, shit. I didn't realize he was on me so quickly. Okay. Is that a bat? I have that's the first time I've seen those. Oh. Wrong thing. We have a we have increased damage against flying creatures, so we definitely want to use our bow for that. I don't think that counts for fur patch. Um oh, we got a point too. Does this count for um Damage against flying enemies increased by 30%. I, I mean, it doesn't say specifically it's for range, so maybe it does also work with melee. All right, we have two points. Those both... Uh, no, this is two. 30% chance to spawn a stamina orb when defeating an enemy with a bow. Health, mana, and stamina orbs restore 30% instead of 10% of their respective resources. And potions 20% more. That's really good, but... Um, yeah, let's go. What's this again? Oh, time in the shroud. Let's go with this one. Swift shot sustenance. I like it. I like it. Nothing really down here. I don't need beets. I got tons of beets from the farm. some food up again. Hey look, there's our stamina orb. Backpack is full. Alright, let's get rid of that. Abandoned hunter camp. Okay, this is the place. Nice. In fact, well, you know what? Let's let's hold off on that. A long way from home. I've entered the thicket. Plenty of cover, but too much mud. I'm leaving footprints. I miss the solid rocky mountain paths and kicking pebbles down chasms to wait for the echo. A strange odor hangs over the bog, foul and fermented. It reminds me of the distilleries near Howling Pike. I decided to avoid Glenwood's End. Too much activity, and I taste copper in the water. Bad omens. I'll drift away from here as soon as possible. All right. Nice, we got a new wisp potion back. There's a thingy, thingy here. Wood planks and nails and forest longbow. Talion. The battle by the bridge. I know you must have been there. The ones that fled had terror in their eyes. The shroud. They said with a trembling voice, the shroud blanketed everything. Still, the armies of Vorgoth continued to battle. Please tell me, did you breathe it in? Are you still in there, my little brother, leading the flock as commander? I survey the valley when the sun is highest in the sky, but I detect no motion. I put my ear to the ground, put, but hear no marching of heavy boots. If you're in there, please give me a sign, Talon. I'll carry out. Uh, I'll carry you out of my bag. Just like the old days. Your sister, Athelon. 
No, oh, little story of Athlon's brother. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, I. The reason that startled me is because it's completely black in there, and I didn't see what was happening until I actually went inside. Okay. So, um, did that update this? You've learned that a large battle was fought by an ancient bridge in the Revelwood. Explore the area and see what sort of riches lie inside the shroud. Okay, so I guess we can't go in here at all then, huh? Does not look like it. Now we gotta go that way. Okay. To the guard of the north, the guard of the north, Lord Vorgoth, you blighted, demented adversary. You are a mad, raving shadow of a leader. I want you to know, following your orders makes me sick. A toll I paid in blood. No army will protect you. I will cross every chasm, scale every mountain, and brace against the bitter cold. I will push myself beyond the physical capacity of man to find you, and when I do, my aim will be true. I swear on my brother's honor. Athelin Scree. Alright, so she's got it in for the, for the dude. For the... The arch enemy location is below. Ancient bridge. Oh, there's a there's a shroud route there. Okay, if we're going into the shroud, our protection's almost done. So let's refresh that. Let's also take one of these, which will give us one less minute in the shroud, but make us quite a bit stronger. Let's take one of these. And while we're up here, I want to get rid of a couple of things. Just so we're not muckety-mucking around with inventory management down in the shroud. Uh, I, I have lots of this. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, let's just salvage that bow. And... Um, I got, uh, no, I got lots of those. Got lots of that. Got lots of that. I know how to get this now, so we don't need to be carrying it around with this. Okay, that gives us um, a little bit of space. We're good on our food. Let's go. Alright, we're going to have to... Be careful of the red crap. Let's go take care of this root first, because then it'll clear the shroud. Now, let's take a look at our thing. Ancient bridge, shroud root. Um, okay, let's go back to the journal. Lost in the shroud. So it's got a, it's around here somewhere. Let's go this way. That gets back into the shroud. Whoa! Shite, that scared me. Didn't even see that. Stepped right into a drop off there. Let's pop one of these. I bet you it's up on top of one of those thingies over there. We're gonna have to do some parkour action. 
just trying to figure out what their best way to go is. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, hey. We got one of those guys. Um... Oh, that's it. That's the bow. All right. New Laura Page, the Shroud Elixir, and Elixir Well, Lost in the Shroud. A Fell Commander Bow. Let's look at this. 17 power, but it's legendary, and that's with no upgrades. That's definitely going to be a nice upgrade for us once we, we get it upgraded. Cool. Okay, that was... I think that was definitely worth doing. Look at this sucker, man. That is cool looking. All right, um, I'm sure there's probably, there are probably more things around here we could loot, but I think we're about time to wrap the episode up. Let's get, are we out of the shroud here yet? Yeah, okay, so let's head home and do the, the turn in with, um, Scree. Yeah, see, I don't have an... I can't build another altar to get back here quickly, so it is what it is. We'll just have to come a long way the next time. All right. First thing I want to do is grab some runes. And let's get this bow upgraded. We fight on. There we go. My, an ambush? But I hid my tracks. How could the soldiers... Spiders, you say? Ignore me, then. Place that hand spindle and we'll move on. Hush now whilst we craft. My secrets are mine to keep. All right. Okay. So. Good hunting. Uh, actually, here. Let's do the up the bow upgrade. So we... Uh, Falcon Commander bow. All right. Yeah. Look back. Okay. So now it does, has 22 power. So it's already th three more raw power better. Backstab critical, shroud magic damage, stamina leech, which is great for us, and increased critical hit by 20%. Very cool. All right. Yep. A most definite upgrade. For sure. Let's um place down the this guy. I wonder if they fixed the fix this. Uh no. They didn't. They still don't show her crafting stations. So, all right. I mean, it's a very minor thing, of course. It's not a huge deal, but they should fix that at some point. You know, actually, it doesn't make sense to have this outside. So let's put it right here for her. And we can now make linen. Oh, and we put flax in there. I was thinking we would put the, you know, the this stuff, the cloth. Okay, cool. So I'm going to make up a whole bunch of um, linen with the flax that I have and probably plant some more flax. And then um, once I have a quantity of that, I'm going to make either the marksman or the ranger set. It looks like... They both have the same physical and magical resistances. Um, yeah, uh, so it's just a matter of the ranger set has stamina, ranged critical, range damage, stamina. Marksman has range critical, stamina, plus four skill shot damage. What does that mean exactly? I don't know what that means. 
stamina and minus 500 stamina regeneration delay. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to think about that, but I'm going to make one of those two sets um, with the linen. And we're going to make the improved glider with the linen from him. And we're going to make the shield. Yeah, the Valiant shield from him. That's hero shield is 10 block. That looks really cool, but this one's a little stronger. And then the plan for the next episode will be to start working on um, some of the farmer's quests so that we can start getting the better food. All right, guys. So that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share out the uh, share, <laughs> share out the video. I just about said share out the bathroom because I'm standing next to the bathroom. <clears throat> and... <laughs> <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.